back in the late 60s and 70s. Um, both Colin Teeley and I were writing and publishing with Rigby's and it was decided by the publishing manager of Rigby's, Michael Page, uh, that it would be a good thing to do for Colin and I to get together to see if we could uh, fashion a new look at the initial writing of Storm Boy, which he'd done, I think he'd written it originally in more or less a draft form in the early 60s. It was decided that rather than do a traditional set of illustrations which by convention follow the, the story and illustrate, make pictures of the story as it goes along, uh, that I would attempt to create a backdrop, a scene for the Kurong, that area where Storm Boy was set, so that people might see another view that they don't get actually from the words, but could get the backdrop for the ecology of the place. And it was decided this would be attempted, even though it was a, not quite the convention for children's books. And uh, so I set about going to the Coorong, based at Robe in the southeast of South Australia, which we were familiar with, uh, and drawing the details and the landscapes, the seascapes and the birds and things, um, without really referring too closely to the story. And the two pictures and words came together in the book. Stories, uh, particularly if they're good stories with a, with a strong, strong ethic to them, a message to them, uh, are great. And if you can make a, a stage show or a ballet or an opera or a whatever out of it, it's, it's just great. Uh, <laughs> some stories written down um, never really make it in a world until a ballet is made or more music is put to them. It's, it's just a, a essential tale for anybody of any age at any time. It's a timeless story by a timeless writer in Colin Teeley.